What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw cute girls. So when you're drawing cute girls or cute characters, you're actually kind of exaggerating the stuff you would normally do. Like with me, I have kind of a style to my drawings and I draw my characters in my own unique style. Sometimes I try to exaggerate that just to make my characters look cute. So for this video, I'm going to redraw this character and I'm going to explain along the line how I draw cute characters and how I go about certain things. And we're also going to focus on just the face. We're not going to focus a lot on the body, but I'll probably explain something about the body anytime throughout this video. So with that being said, let's get to the video. So like I mentioned earlier, we're just going to focus on just the face, but I'm not going to explain too much about how to draw the face. But if you are interested in learning how to draw the face, I made a video on that. Uh, how to draw a face, how to draw a face at a three quarter view. How to draw it at a profile, how to draw face shapes, a lot of those. Links to those videos will be in the description if you want to go check any of those videos out. But if you watch those videos, you would know how I go about uh, drawing the eyes, nose, and mouth. That way you would kind of get a better understanding of what I'm trying to do in this video. Because like I said, we're going to be exaggerating a few different things. But at some point in the video, I may explain how to draw the eyes, nose, or mouth, or anything like that. But So when you're drawing a cute character, imagine if it were kind of like a baby imagine if it were kind of like a baby or an infant you're trying to give your character like childlike characteristics and what does that mean so you know how everyone uh sees babies as like cute characters picture this someone's giving you like baby doll eyes and you're saying to yourself that's really cute so when you see a character with baby doll eyes their eyes kind of like get big maybe the eye shape the eyelids or maybe the pupils in general but when i draw the face i'm just gonna make the eyes look uh big but before we draw the eyes we're gonna make sure that the face itself is actually big and the reason being is because when you're drawing the face really big you want to be able to make space for the eyes nose and mouth of course and any other cute characteristics that you may want to add stuff like makeup you know stickers or whatever girls put on their face i'm not sure anything that anything else that goes on the face actually but basically anything else that goes on the face other than the eyes nose mouth makeup anything else like that so here i got my face drawn and everything so like i mentioned earlier i'm gonna make try to make the eyes big but also space them uh evenly so they won't look all weird And see, when I normally draw the eyes, they would uh, be smaller and like a little bit shifted overwards, uh, a little bit away from the ear. But I try to make them close to the ear, so that way this middle part will be space for the nose. So I'm just going to make sort of a triangle nose. Or not a triangle, but I don't know how to describe this shape, but it's going to be a nose that looks like this. And this is how I ultimately draw noses anyway. So I don't like drawing noses that kind of go all the way up here. So I just like to uh, imagine that there's a shape right there that helped me draw the nose and then I'll erase it later. And then this will just be the nose overall. So I'll just get the eyes in place. And then when you're drawing the irises and the pupils, you can make them big. You can make them uh, like really big as if a character is looking at you with uh, baby doll eyes like I mentioned earlier. So I'm just going to make it really big. And sometimes this is how I draw irises and pupils. This isn't always how I draw the eyes. But since we're drawing a cute character and for the purposes of this video, we're going to draw it just like that. But since I made the pupils kind of like really, really small, we can make them a little bit bigger. And just color those in. See, we're getting sort of a cute vibe now. And now since we're drawing a girl character, I like to add, I don't know what it's called, it's probably eyeliner. But I like to have it going around the arc of the eyes, because that's how I draw my eyes, I use an arc. And I have like a little bit of eyeliner or, or mascara, whatever it's called, poking off just like that. And I like to do it both eyes, and I like to have them facing outward. And also trying to make them even. And see. 
and then for the mouth, just a, a little happy mouth, just like this. And sometimes when you're drawing cute characters, you want to be able to fill up the bottom part of the face. Because that way you'll have room for the hair and also any other details like a mascara or anything like that, like I mentioned earlier. So, when you don't want to place, if you don't want to place the mouth any lower than this, we can shorten up this bottom portion of the face. Because you don't want to give the bottom portion of the face a bit more length. You don't want to do that. Because it'll kind of look awkward. So that way the viewer can only look at the eyes, nose, and mouth. It'll kind of catch their eye. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, now it's all pretty much in the same area. And now I can just draw the eyebrows in. And again, keeping it close to every, and again, keeping it close to everything. And I'm gonna add some details to that later. But um, we're also gonna make the head a bit larger. And see, I kind of transformed this head into almost like a baby head. And now comes the hair so you can add pretty much any hairstyle you want whatever I guess stands out to you which and whichever hairstyle you think uh, is cute in your opinion in my opinion I like to add bangs I like to I like to make most of the head kind of uh, bangs just drawing like a straight line across the head and then adding some upward cuts. And that's what most of the head is, but I'm also gonna add, I'm also gonna add another layer of hair. Just like this, just so it comes up. And that way people can see where the bangs are actually gonna lie on, because the bangs are kinda in front of this second layer. And then I'm just gonna add like a, a buns to it. This is what I like adding because I think this is cute. And making them big. And then some bands or scrunchies or whatever. This is probably really messy. Sorry if you can't see that, but let's. I'm kind of making it look like a like a cloud or like a a puffy flower or a cotton. That's what I'm trying to make it look like, cause that's that's how I like making it. But. Everyone has their uh, own styles, their own opinions on uh, what they think is cute for their characters, if they're character designers. And I was ultimately trying to go for uh, more of a teenager look, but I suppose since I gave this character more uh, child, more childlike characteristics, um, she can be a teenager, but she looks more like a child, so people would actually see her as a child. But, you know, looks can be deceiving, you know? And then back down to the face, I'm just gonna add some little streaks of hair just hanging off. Cause I like the, I like the way this looks. I actually started adding this to some of my original characters too. So that can hang off like the back of the ear or like the back of the hair. It could be just like that. But either one. And then something that I like adding to a lot of girl characters is um, making the eyelids a bit smaller. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this top portion of the eye. Not the entire eye, but just a big portion of it. And then I'm going to create sort of a smaller arc. 
just like this. Because um, if you look at um, how Daisy Duck looks, she has her eyes. Um, the eyelids are kind of like halfway towards being closed. So that's the kind of look that I'm trying to go for. And that's the look I kind of add to a lot of my characters lately. And I'm also going to add like... And right there where the eye was, I'm just going to add that sort of a smaller line there. But the reason I'm adding a small line is because one, so I can figure out where the actual eyelids kind of stop. And second, so I don't confuse it with the eyebrow. Because we already drew it here. Because eyebrows, I don't usually draw this small. And then create that uh, mascara again. Or eyeliner or whatever. And then do the same thing with the other eye. And I'm trying to make this eyeliner look uh, more like a brush stroke. So that's why you see more of a curve around this area. And then a, a bit of a taper along these two areas here. And see, now you see half of the eyes. See, and now we see half of the eyelids that we drew earlier. And then in the sec... Just a quick accessory that I want to add, just a, like a little pearl earring on each ear. And maybe like a choker. Okay, now let's get to the coloring portion of the video. So, color. Where do we put it? What colors do we use? First off, a lot of people consider pink a cute color, and they're not wrong, but everyone has their opinions on what colors they consider cute and what they consider not cute. But right off the bat, I can color this entire thing with a natural skin color. You can also think of a color scheme that may be three or four colors that you think will be cute. Um, pink right off the bat, you don't necessarily have to use pink even though a lot of people consider it a cute color. You can use like red, yellow, or blue, basically the primary colors. And you can use different variations of each to give your viewers a cute vibe. But I'm going to cheat and use pink as a variation of red. And I'm going to use that for the hair. And if you're using colors on a human character, you don't necessarily have to go by uh, different hair colors. Like, uh, so different hair colors would be brown, yellow, orange, maybe black, maybe gray. You don't necessarily have to go by those specific colors. You can use like an eccentric color for the hair. And I'm going to use pink. So you can probably tell your viewers that uh, maybe this girl has a natural pink hair color. So that can be the color of hair that she was born with. Or the fact that maybe she could have dyed her uh, hair color pink. Either way, she's going to have pink hair. Just to kind of like break away from all the constraints of you know practicalities because it's practical for a human character to have yellow brown black orange or gray hair and it's also kind of fun to break away from stuff like that to create really nice and really distinguished characters and also when you're drawing cute characters it's always fun to use contrast but what is contrast so my definition of contrast is basically the opposite of something. Like say on the drawing that you see here is mostly light colors. Going further, instead of using lighter colors like the skin tone and the pink, we can use uh, darker colors. Or if we choose to use pink, we can use a darker variation of pink. And that's basically what contrast is or my definition of it. But um, since we haven't colored the eyes or the bands or this kind of strap down here, we can use dark colors for those. We, we may not be doing a lot to the drawing by adding darker colors uh, here and there, but it's definitely something to add. So let me grab a dark purple and I'm going to just add some purple to the straps here. And purple is also kind of a cute color. And it's a color that I personally find on a lot of girls. I sometimes wear purple myself. I'm merely pale brown and it's also dark it kind of blend to the pupil but that's okay we can still see it so it doesn't really matter and we still haven't colored in the bands 
so we can use like a variation of a yellow. And another cute characteristic that I like to add is uh, adding some cheeks. I've actually made a video discussing how to color cheeks with your Copic markers. Link will be in the card if you want to go and check that out. But I'm gonna just do like a quick one, not a tutorial, but just a quick adding cheeks there. I'm just I'm using RO2 if you're wondering what Copic marker I'm using, and I'm just, I'm just gonna use my uh, Pro marker to kind of blend that into the skin tone because this is the base color of the skin tone. But if it doesn't blend all the way, that's still fine. It's as if uh, there were makeup here. By the way, if you haven't seen that uh, Copic cheek tutorial, I'm doing something like that. Just blending it back into the skin tone. And also this is a way you can add like makeup because you're kind of like highlighting her cheekbones, making her cheekbones a little bit more red. And you're also blending it into the skin tone which is a feature that I like to add for my characters. And I also like to add makeup to cute girls. So I'm just gonna take a colored pencil and I'm just gonna go over the eyes, kind of adding, uh, what's it called, eyeshadow, I think. And I don't have to add much detail here, but I'm trying to make a bit of a gradient towards the skin without using markers. And then if you want, you can take the marker that we use. This is RO2. And then try to blend that colored pencil back into the skin as much as you can. You can do that or leave it how it was, either way. But with this uh, brush tip on this marker, it's easier to add a gradient. And I wanna add some lips to the drawing. So I'm just gonna take an extra brush marker and add some lips. So what I like to do is I like to take my uh, gel pen or anything you, anything else you use to add highlights. So I like to go around the eyes here and just make small circles here and just add any further highlights to whatever we want. I'm going to add a slight one towards the lips and then maybe towards the edge of the face or wherever else you want to add highlights. You can add it to the skin if you're making like final artwork, but this is just for the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you draw cute girls. So if you like my video and you find it useful, give it a like and a comment. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of drawing tutorials, speed drawings, art challenges, and more. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in the next video. I got my nigga like